Hey, while you in the first five seconds of the video, go ahead, like and subscribe. You get tempted and things are difficult because you constantly try to go about the wrong thing the wrong way. The law said money is a defense. Money is a tool. Money is meant to be used in a particular fashion. But a lot of us, we idolize money because of what it could allow us access to. Shalom Israel, this is Bishop Nathaniel. I want you to know that you can view all our Sabbath classes live on IUIC TV. That's right, I said on IUIC TV. Download the app today. Shalom. You know what I mean? And look at the result now, from the 60s to now. Music, the influence it had on us to now. Remember a trap called Quest? Remember the old groups like maybe KRS-One? Teach! Public enemy, what happened to them? What was their message? You remember them group system? Uh, I mean, Do you remember some of the positive groups from back in the 80s? Uh, uh, How old are you, sis? 44. 44? You remember some of that stuff from back then? What happened to them? Like fight with power, uh, play with play. You know? Was it because it's, it, it turned corny? It wasn't real? No, it, was it got blackballed. That's what I was gonna say. They got blackball. That's right. In the 19, like, like, like the late 1990s. Early 90s. Early 90s. They uh brought in all of the head rappers. Right. They brought them in to uh, California. They set them all down. They said we got something. We got a plan for you brothers right. to do. The plan was for y'all to send this, sing this kind of music, so you can uh, fill up the prison. That's it. That's it. The the secret meeting that changed hip hop forever. I'm gonna tell you something. Listen, listen, I already know that y'all don't take nothing. We don't take any yeah, anything on the Sabbath. But know. what we want you to do is we want you to take that flyer, sis, and call us. Yes, sir. Call yes. us and come back to keeping the commandments of God. Because yes, the Lord said what you're doing right now. The Lord said what you're doing right now is abomination. He don't want you that way. And we thank y'all. He don't want you that way, sister. He don't want you this way. He wants you to come back to him in the way that he deems necessary. That's Remember, right. what we do today is we go to the Christian church, we do all our sin, we do all our dirt, and then we pay tithes, thinking no, no, that that's no, no. commiserate with the but Lord. I understand that, but give me, me, give me Malachi 1. Why is and stuff and tithes, I've never been about that. Good. I don't believe in that. Or offerings. I don't believe in none of that. You know, you, you, you know. I don't believe in that. I don't believe in that. Do you, do you understand that that's the spirit that's out in the world, though? A lot of people yeah, Saturday yeah, will go out to the club and turn up. And they try to pay their way to salvation, like she just said. But you, can't, you can't. But what I want you to know is we absolutely don't take any donations. What we want you to do with this is take it, go to the crib, and buy a dress. That's right. That'll be the donation that'll make us smile. That's right. They said y'all see me, I'm gonna have a dress on. I'm just at work right now. Hey. We got you, sis. Y'all be blessed. Listen at this, Malachi. One and how they despise her name, his name. Verse 6. The book of Malachi, chapter 1, verse 6. A son honoreth his father. You hear that? Y'all got sons? No, you got a son? A son honors his father. Read. And a servant his master. It don't matter if that's, that father is in the child's life or not in their child's life. That son honors up until a certain point. A father. I didn't have my father in the household. I know a lot of brothers that didn't have fathers in their households. Right. But they still honored their father. Right. That's a true saying. A son honored his father. Read. If then I be a father, the Lord is speaking through the prophet Malachi. He's saying, if I be a father, read. Where is my honor? Where's the Lord's honor? How do we honor the Lord? Do we honor him by giving donations? How do we honor the father? Read. And if I be a master, where is my fear? We don't fear the Lord our God today. That's how come we don't show it in a way we up appear to him. It, we don't show it in a way we think about situations that happen. 
We see the murder. We see Buddy get shot. We see him get killed. We know who did it. And we won't even say nothing. Jeez. Then our family get touched by the same brother who touched that brother. Then we be like, why don't somebody say something? Right. I know y'all know something. I know y'all know. No, you knew. You knew. You understood. So the spirit we want to impart is to embody the Lord's spirit. If I'm embodying it, he's embodying it, and everybody he's around and I'm around, see the way we move, they're going to move the same way too. That's right. Right. So that's why I'm not too caught up in making people do what the Lord wants them to do, but me, myself, being the example. That's all we need is men and women to be examples. And everything else will sort its way out. It starts with you, though. Enough of the days of saying we need everybody help. We don't need nobody help. We need the Lord's help. And the Lord said, you are the one who can change your situation. That's right. You have to be the change you want to see. That's a very powerful statement. You understand that? Breathe. Saith the Lord of hosts unto you, O priest that despise my name. You hear that? O priest or today, O Christians or O religious folks or O black folks who hate the Lord's name. That's right. He's gonna, he's gonna describe how the name of the Lord is hated today, read. And ye say, wherein have we despised thy name? How we hate the Lord's name? How do we do that? One way is, you color your hair. Root. Or as a woman, you're wearing pants. Root. And you didn't know, coming up here before today, you didn't know that, but now you know. That's right. Now we just dropped a heavy ball in your court, and now you gotta do some study. Your mom, your mom's a pastor? No, but my brother is. Your brother is? He has to be teaching the laws of God. That's right. He has to be the first one in the house telling you if you don't have a, a Lord or if you don't have a husband who follows the laws of God, he got to be the first one to tell you since he has the Bible, he's a representation of the Bible, he got to be the one to say, sister, the way you moving is not in accordance with God. That's, that's right. right. And that's what your brothers is here today to do, to show you you're not in accordance with God. That's right. I'm bring it to him. He'll tell me that's absolutely correct. I'm going to bring it to him. So why you don't listen to him? I would... You don't think he was right? Well, now I do. All praises. My brother, we got a school on the west side. Have you ever heard of Israel United in Christ? Oh, wow. I don't think so. You don't think so? You, you've heard of the Israelites, correct? Right. Have you studied with any group? Or you just watch online and see what the content is out there? What you mean? Like, we're, what we're doing right now is we're waking our people up. That's right. Teaching them the commandments of God. Compelling our sister to change. Right? And on YouTube, it's a lot of that content and information from different groups. So I'm asking, do you see YouTube and see the content out there? And you just watch those videos to learn about the Israelites? Since young, like, uh, in my family, I had some that was Muslims. And then others that were like Jehovah's Witnesses. Yeah. So okay, so we're not Muslims and we're not Jehovah's Witnesses. That's two divisive sects of Christianity, actually. But, like, I had, uh, but, like, being in between, I always had my questions and curiosity. So, of course, I had my questions, so I had my questions to be able to answer. Okay. And I'm a very open-minded person. What were some of those questions, if you don't mind me asking? And what was the answer? Well, you get her to subscribe? All oh, praises. Yep, Why you think on it? Let's listen to the rest of this. Verse 7. Ye offer polluted bread upon mine altar. And you say, you offer polluted bread upon my altar. The laws of God during the time of the priests stated that we had to offer up sacrifices. Right? One of the sacrifices they offered up was bread. He said you offer polluted bread. Meaning it's not in accordance to how the Lord set it up. The Lord set it up A, B, and C. We said, you know what? I'm going to give him whatever the hell I want to give him. Like today, he set up uh, dietary laws. We still have to follow the dietary law. That's right. We can't eat chitlins. We can't eat pork chops. We can't eat ham sandwiches. We can't right. eat the baconator because right. the bacon that's on it. We can't eat the the pig. Right. We can't eat those things. We can't eat catfish. Right. But the Lord said, you know what? Or today the people say, you know what? I'm going to do with my body, my temple that I'm supposed to sacrifice to the Lord. I'm going to do with it whatever I want to do. Right. We offer polluted bread 
on the sacrifice of the Lord. That's right. You understand that us not doing the will that we want to do and instead choosing to do God's will and teach you the commandments, that's us sacrificing? That's right. Like I could, there could be plenty of things that I could do. Nothing would be more important, but instead of doing those things, I'm here to teach my brother. I'm offering up a sacrifice. The Lord said you offer polluted sacrifices. We can't pollute this temple. This is a holy and sacred vessel. It's supposed to be so that we can do what? Be prepared to uplift our nation. Right. That's right. My question is, do you feel like God tests you or challenges you on a daily basis? The tests and the challenge come from the cloudiness that's in your brain. Right? Give me that in James. He said, he tempt no man. The Lord don't tempt you. You know how you get tempted? Was it 1 to 19 or 2 and 21? I think so, yeah. Like 1 to 19. Let me see 1 to 19, James. Bring you get up. tempted and things are difficult because you constantly try to go about the wrong thing the wrong way. The Lord said money is a defense. Money is a tool. Money is meant to be used in a particular fashion. But a lot of us, we idolize money because of what it could allow us access to. It allows us access to people, resources, and things, gadgets. When we put those things on a high pedestal and we constantly try to aim for it, and it's so hard to, to do, it's because our mindset on money needs to be changed. He puts different things in our life so that we can observe how we entreat it. You understand what I'm saying? How we feel towards it, right? If I felt towards money like, man, money ain't nothing. Money gonna buy me bread, money gonna pay my bills, money gonna get me clothes. Money gonna take me from city to city. That's what I needed to do, and that's what, I, that's it. Beyond that, I don't care about the cars. I don't care about looking like a kingpin with my rock, my, my wrist freezing. I don't care about none of that. A lot of us wanna rock the latest designers. For that's what? Right. What does that do but feed this system to keep you oppressed? That's, that's right. right. What is nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children.